Good morning. It's Monday, September 16th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Envy Grabs a Heart. And our scripture is Psalm 73. Truly, God is good to Israel, to those whose hearts are pure. But as for me, I almost lost my footing. My feet were slipping, and I was almost gone. For I envied the proud when I saw them prosper despite their wickedness. They seem to live such painless lives. Their bodies are so healthy and strong. They don't have troubles like other people. They're not plagued with problems like everyone else. They wear pride like a jeweled necklace and clothe themselves with cruelty. These fat cats have everything their hearts could ever wish for. They scoff and speak only evil. In their pride they seek to crush others. They boast against the very heavens and their words strut throughout the earth. And so the people are dismayed and confused, drinking in all their words. What does God know, they ask? Does the Most High even know what's happening? Look at these wicked people, enjoying a life of ease while their riches multiply. Did I keep my heart pure for nothing? Did I keep myself innocent for no reason? I get nothing but trouble all day long. Every morning brings me pain. If I had really spoken this way to others, I would have been a traitor to your people. So I tried to understand why the wicked prosper. But what a difficult task it is. Then I went into your sanctuary, O God, and I finally understood the destiny of the wicked. Truly, you put them on a slippery path and send them sliding over the cliff to destruction. In an instant they are destroyed, completely swept away by terrors. When you arise, O Lord, you will laugh at their silly ideas as a person laughs at dreams in the morning. Then I realized that my heart was bitter and I was all torn up inside. I was so foolish and ignorant. I must have seemed like a senseless animal to you. Yet I still belong to you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, leading me to a glorious destiny. Whom have I in heaven but you? I desire you more than anything on earth. My health may fail and my spirit may grow weak. But God remains the strength of my heart. He is mine forever. Those who desert him will perish, for you destroy those who abandon you. But as for me, how good it is to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my shelter, and I will tell everyone about the wonderful things you do. Examples of bitter people who became bitter because envy took a foothold in their hearts are all over scripture. Cain, Joseph's brothers, Korah, Simon the sorcerer, and the whole nation of Philistia, jealous over Isaac's wells. None of any of that turned out pretty. For Asaph, writer of Psalm 73, his bitterness almost caused his mind, heart, and soul to slip into the abyss. Bitterness will do that. It's cancer of the spirit every bit as much as cancer to the biological part of us. It holds the light of truth and trust at bay and causes our hearts to turn dark as night. If there's anything that can and will turn bitterness away and restore a dark heart, it's the unconditional love of God. There's just something about being loved which calms and soothes the most ferocious of us, despite our bitterness and anger. For Asaph, the turning point was entering the sanctuary of the Most High God, Jehovah. And it's no less true for me. There's that reality of going to church, taking a definite step towards God, which energizes every good possibility of faith in me. It's that single step of surrender where Russell has it confirmed to his mind and soul that God is truly God and losing myself in him is the only place I can really find and know myself. In short, only in God is there meaning for me. I find myself agreeing with Solomon. Everything else is vanity, empty, without purpose, and tasteless. Truly, God is the strength of my heart. For you today, when we make the decision to get near God, even without all of our questions answered and wicked people still seemingly prospering, 
we will come to know and say what Asaph experienced, but as for me, how good it is to be near God. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.